and two cups of warm water. No more than 110 degrees. Two packages of dry yeast. This is for two prosphora. Two teaspoons of salt. We we'll let it rest for a minute or two. Stir it lightly. Put one cup of flour first. Let it rest for a couple minutes. This make the yeast activate, so you can see the bubbles. Then you continue putting the flour in one cup at a time. So I have measured out six cups, that's how many um, flour cups you're going to need for um, the two prosphora. Need like this for a couple minutes. As you can see, it's almost ready. Just come a little bit stiff and but easy to knead. I have made two more, so I will mix this together on another bowl and we'll be ready to work out and continue the process.
And this is how I incorporate the two batches in one. The one already has come soft and nice to work. You put this together, you need it a couple, maybe five minutes. So it can be all the same. That's a little more work here. So this dog will give us four crossfires, around nine, nine inches around each one. And I'm gonna let it rest for an hour, an hour and a half, depends from the heat. When it's a cold day, so I usually heat up the oven a little bit and I put it there and now it's ready. Then I'm gonna have to work it again. And we're gonna just watch a little more how the process going about things. Then. So as you can see, it's giving out very good. You can see, very nice. You can feel it. Be sure it's a little bit stiff because you need to have it stiff so the seal will not stick and will show. So it will be easier for father to cut the letters and the signs. When there's no enough humidity and it's dry in the house, I put saran wrap over it. So when it's rising, it does not dry and cut in. That's something I learn as I go. I have a special tea towels that I use only for prosphoro and I'm gonna put it on a nice quiet place to rise. Now you can see, now you can see it rise and it's ready to be neat one more time and separate to four pieces. That's the way to make it get some air bubbles out. And ready to work a little bit needed and you can see how easy it is to work. It's still warm. And then going back down, you see, from the full pen, came all the way down to the original, and then it's going to rise again after I put it on the pens. It's very easy to work. It's a little bit stiff, but has to be. You can see... So this one will give us four prosper. Yeah. I separate in twos and then again in twos. Two pieces and two pieces and we will make four prosper for the church.